Okay. Okay, a little introduction to the course. So, this course is all about optimization. Uh, and optimization is a super broad um, area of, of mathematics. And it's, it, it's super applicable in a, a wide, wide range of problems. Um, it's a piece of applied mathematics. And you know, my take on applied mathematics uh, is that it, uh, applied mathematics is all about taking a problem, converting it into uh, mathematics, making some assumptions so that you can co convert it into something that you can write down mathematically, solving that problem uh, uh, using math some mathematical tools, and then interpreting the, the results that you get um, back in the context of the original problem. And so uh, that process, you know, uh, applied to optimization, uh, essentially requires you to take your problem, uh, you know, be it something in machine learning or be it something industrial or uh, something in biology, and figure out what type of optimization uh, it involves. So optimization is super broad, um, and you can kind of think of it uh, as having all of these different sub, uh, all of these different subdomains. So you've um, uh, you've done uh, linear optimization before. Um, and that's sort of the most uh, simple, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, most uh, assumption-heavy um, form of optimization. You know, generalizing out from that, there's something called quadratic optimization, which we'll talk about soon. Uh, and con convex optimization is sort of general again, um, and then uh, you know, slightly broader are things that are on simple domains, problems that are on simple sort of bounded domains. Um, and that sits inside all, all problems. So there are all sorts of decisions and all things that you have to identify um, when you're uh, writing down an optimization problem or trying to solve an optimization problem. You know, does it use integers um, or are, are the values that you can find as a solution to this problem uh, discrete or are they continuous? Um, does the problem have constraints uh, or is it unconstrained? Um, and all of these different questions um, tell you what type of optimization um, method you're going to use and what sort of tools to use. So, you know, this book is, is all about teaching us um, the different tools for solving all of these different types of problems, but the real skill uh, and sort of the real uh, applied mathematical skill here is identifying where for a given problem you sit in this picture. And so, you know, we'll, as we get into the weeds uh, about all the technicalities of all these different methods, it's good to keep that, this sort of picture in mind. Okay, so uh, uh, many of you, not all of you, will have done optimization and operations research too. Um, it's fine if you haven't, um, we'll review it. Um, this course sort of follows on from that, but it's not just more complicated problem. Um, so it's got a bit less programming, it's a bit more theoretical, uh, and it talks about different optimization problems. So OOR, I talked about, I think, all discrete, um, all, uh, yeah, discrete types of optimization problems, whereas this is continuous, uh, largely, uh, and not linear. Oh, that's it. 